looks good. Warmer weather is here. It's time to dust off that barbecue with recipes dressed to grill. Please welcome best-selling cookbook author Greta Podlet. <laughs> Great to see you. It's I'm great to have you back, especially when you bring honey lime sriracha chicken with you. Oh yes, look at how beautiful that is. I All love from it. Yum and Yummer. Um, and there are so many great recipes in this, and I know people absolutely love this cookbook. Thank you. I've had so a lot good. of good feedback on it. Um, particularly from mums, which kind of surprised me. Nice. A lot of mums saying their kids love the recipes, um, they like the video component to it. Yeah. And I think when you can make one recipe that your whole family likes, because a lot of women are more health conscious or yes. might be, let's say, trying to lose weight, Yes. right? But they don't want to make two meals, one for themselves, one for their husband and kids. So when you can make one family-friendly meal, it's great. You're so good. And I love it when the weather turns warmer and we can get the grill out. It just, yeah. doesn't it just seem easier than stovetop, oven, all that uh, kind of stuff? It is easier. Life is easier when the sun is out. Parenting is, it, is easier, marriage is easier. Getting out of bed is easier. Cooking is easier. I know, it's everything is, I love it. And plus then I'm not so pale. Yeah, it gets a little bit but of But I color. brought this um, particular chicken recipe because it's one of my favorite favorites and one of the most popular because it's loaded with flavor. Okay. So it's honey, lime, and sriracha. So first mm. we're gonna make the marinade. So I'm gonna start just a quarter of a cup of honey and then I've got the lime juice. And I'm gonna use some soy sauce. Now this, if you use the tamari soy sauce, this recipe will be gluten-free. So I know that's important to a lot of people. Yeah. Cause that's the only uh, ingredient that you need to worry about. Okay. A little bit of olive oil. And nice. then I have some grated ginger root for some good Ooh, flavor. Lovely. Do you freeze ginger root? I freeze nope. it. So when I get it home from the grocery store, I peel it, yeah. put it in a baggie in the freezer, and just wait till you uh, grate frozen ginger root versus non-frozen. Yes. It goes right off your grater like nothing. There's oh, no stringy smart. mess. That you don't have smart. to scrape the underside. It makes yeah. like a big pillowy cloud of ginger root. So try that. Plus it lasts forever then. Is right? that the only reason you do it? It, well, to for preservation, it? but also just for the grating? Because so that would easy. be a reason to do it. It's completely different when you grate it frozen versus okay, fresh. Like that. Um, and then we've got some garlic, of course. I've got some lime zest. So mm -hmm. the zest of a big lime goes in there. And yeah. then just two spices, which you probably already have. Chili powder. And then we have some ground cumin. And of course, let's not forget the sriracha hot sauce. So nice. you can control the heat of this. I'm putting in two tablespoons of hot sauce. I know uh -huh. it sounds like a lot, but combined with the honey and the other ingredients, this isn't going to be lip scorching. Okay. I like spicy food, yeah. but I don't like the kind of spicy food where your mouth is so hot that you almost can't taste the flavor of the food. I agree. What's the point of that, right? You're sweating, you know, yeah. while you eat it, which is so classy. Know, exactly. <laughs> probably revving up your metabolism, right, probably. Dr. Joey? Yeah, probably. <laughs> so we're going to make the marinade, and then I'm using uh, chicken thighs here, and I'm keeping the bone in. So I buy the chicken thighs that are cheaper. Look for them on sale. Mm -hmm. They've got the skin and the bone. All you have to do is cut the skin off and leave the bone in. When you're grilling, it's good to have that bone in there. It holds them together better. Plus, okay. think about boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They're not the most attractive looking piece. Of, <laughs> and it's harder to grill them when they're sort of spread out like that. Yeah, and then this true. is just more economical. So I'm going to save, I don't know, maybe about a quarter of a cup of the marinade for basting later. Okay. And then this is going to get covered. It's Mix it all up. It's going to go in your fridge for, you, you could do it overnight, but if you only have a couple hours, that would be good too. You could do it in the okay. morning before you you go to work yeah okay while that is marinating. marinating we'll go to the grilled pineapple salsa so mm. you're getting the grill out anyway you're preheating the grill yeah so before you're gonna cook the chicken you're gonna slice up a whole pineapple into about six thick rings okay you can buy the pre cored kind if you want to That's save true. it's just so much easier and for 50 cents more or whatever it is I almost always do that yeah plus I like that I can see how ripe it is you yeah, know, sometimes true. you buy a pineapple and you're like, is it ripe? I can't I quite tell. Yeah. And then you cut it and it's not, and then what do you do? But these, you can see how yellow and beautiful That's they are. True. So I just buy those, cut it into six. Couple bell peppers, so they go on the grill and get nice and grilled up like that. I've got them right here. Okay. So the pineapple in cubes, some grilled red pepper, and then I just, um, some super finely minced onion. You want that red onion really, really, really small. Okay. No big chunks of red onion, lime juice. Why is it just because it's annoying? Well, because um, it's a salsa. Most people don't like the taste of raw, a, a big, big chunk, chunk of, of raw onion. onion. <laughs> but you know, the other thing you can do with onion, if you don't know this, if you like onion, but you find it just a little bit too sharp, let's say in a fresh salsa like this, yeah. is soak it. So cut your onion, put it in a bowl of freezing cold water, and let it soak for 30 minutes and then drain it. And that cold water takes out some of the sharpness. Right. But you still have raw onion, and it still looks nice and red and pretty. And Okay, and this Good is tip. minced fresh cilantro, because of course it's salsa. Mm -hmm. And a pinch of sea salt. 
This is just lovely. One of my favorite things goes great with chicken. You know what? This would be so good with grilled fish, oh, pork yes. tenderloin. Um, eat it as a salad. Like just serve it as a side. Look how beautiful it is. And the sweetness of the pineapple in there is, right. you know, the fact that it's a grilled pineapple is going to take it to another level. I mean, it's just so easy and so beautiful. And so then we grill the chicken. Yeah. And I made a big platter of it like that. That's served on basmati rice that I grated a little oh, bit of nice. lime zest in and also put a little bit of the mint cilantro since I already have those two ingredients on the go. Right. But that would taste particularly good if you made your rice with half water and half coconut milk. Yes. It's going to give it just that little extra something and then it goes yeah. with sort of the whole tropical theme of this. This is beautiful and gorgeously plated. I mean, I if you sat at the table and saw that, who who's going to complain? Who wouldn't want that? Right? Not even the picky five-year-old. <laughs> Not even Come the picky five-year-old. But you know, also this pineapple can keep for days in your fridge too. Okay. And the chicken tastes just as great cold as it does hot. If you cut this up, and put some pineapple, you could serve it almost like a taco.